Hi, this is Mr. West, and you are watching a walkthrough video on a worksheet for understanding division as grouping two. This is from MathSalamanders.com. They have tons of great resources if you don't already know. I do a lot of tutorial videos and walkthrough videos for them. If you want to check those out in the playlist, I also have some links in the description if you want to check those out also. So this is a great worksheet because it helps us understand what is division with really easy to understand steps. So we're just going to go ahead and walk right through it. These word problems will help you understand division as grouping. That's the key word there, as grouping. So putting into equal groups. Tiger Salamander is eating grapes for his dinner. He has 18 grapes and puts them into piles of three grapes. How many groups will there be? Okay, so the first thing we kind of got to do here is it's going to say draw 18 grapes in groups of three. So let's just start. I need to choose a better color for my grapes. Okay, and I have one grape there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep putting them in groups of three. I'm going to put them in groups of three like this. Okay, and that's one group of three. Okay, so I want to see how many of these groups of three will there be, okay? How many groups? That's what it's asking. So there's three. So I'm going to do three more. One, two, three, and that is two, okay? And there's an easier way to do this, actually, and it's just copy and paste. So I'm going to copy these. That's another group of three. Now, obviously, I know you can't do that um, unless you have notability, which is what I'm using right now. But just keep in mind that I'm just doing this for the sake of saving time. Okay, so now we're on to four. Okay, but we need to keep track of how many total we have. Don't just get carried away in drawing these groups of three without keeping track of the total. So we had three here, and then we had another three here. In total, that is six. And then we have three more. So in total, that is now nine. And it's getting a little disorganized, so I want to make sure I'm just going to erase and rewrite. So now I have nine, okay, in total. Now I have three more, okay, and I hope you guys are getting it. Now I have 12, okay? Now I'm not going to do that as much. So now I add three more. That's five groups, okay? So that's five groups, and that's going to be a total of 15. I'm almost to 18, and you may have guessed it. I'm going to need one more group to take me to 18. Okay, so then we have six. That takes me to plus three. Okay, that takes me to 18 grapes. And then how many groups did I divide it into? I divided it into six groups. So this took me to six groups. If we were gonna divide each group into three, we need six groups to get the job done. So let's say he's going to eat three grapes per meal. That means he could have six different meals. That's like planning ahead, okay? So how many groups were there? Six. We can write this as what? So what's the division? What's the actual math that we did here? Well, what we did is we started with 18 grapes. We divided each meal into three grapes each, and we said that was six groups, okay? Six different meals. If you're, using, if you're rationing your food or you're trying to keep track of stuff, this is a great way to do this. People use math all the time in this capacity. Quadra, the operation salamander, has caught 27 spiders. She puts them into groups of nine spiders. How many groups will there be, okay? Let's see what kind of spider I can get drawn here. Very similar process. I'm going to draw my spider first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not bad spider, okay? And I'm going to copy paste this, and I'm going to do this nine times, okay? You don't necessarily need to draw spiders. You could just draw little um, tally marks, or you could draw um, just little dots to represent it. It doesn't matter. You can even use counters. So you can use, that's a real popular thing, use little counters and just use that. So this is my first group, and as you can see, there's nine spiders in that first group, so we have nine, okay? And we're going to repeat this process, so I'm going to copy-paste all nine of these, Okay, because each meal is going to consist of nine spiders. If you ask me, nine spiders seems like a bigger meal than only three grapes. More protein, at least. So we have two. So that's another nine. That's a total of 18. So nine plus nine is 18. We're not to 27 yet. So that means we're going to need a third one. Okay, so there's three. And then that's another nine. And that equals 27. And that was a total of three groups we needed to account for all 27 spiders. That's how we did this, okay? And if you counted, you went through and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, okay? This is 27 spiders into three equal groups. That's another um, important component. All three of these groups need to be equal, okay? So what's the math that we did here? We had three groups. We already answered that. We can write this as, well, we had 27 total. 
We are putting nine spiders into each meal, which means it lasted us for three meals. And that's all there is to it. This is a real basic intro into division. Hope this clears up some misconceptions and lets you know where math is actually found in the real world. If you want to see more walkthrough videos like this, make sure to check out my channel or more on MathSalemanders.com. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.